Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today is another update in the 2024 Arizona Senate race between Democrat Ruben Gallego and Republican Carrie Lake. My last video I did on the Senate race showed Carrie Lake's margin of uh, she was trailing by is actually decreased. The race is getting very close. Right now with 88% of the vote in, it is a currently a two-point race between Democrat Ruben Gallego and Republican Carrie Lake with over 88% of the vote in, 12% of the vote remaining statewide. So this race is certainly very, very close, and we're waiting to see how many more votes come in. The margin of victory right now for Gallego over Lake is a little bit under 50,000 votes, and it seems some news organizations have started to call it the New York Times as of the time I'm recording this has not yet called it. And we're looking at Arizona, we're looking at why this race has not been called yet. Because Gallego is leading by about a little like 48,000 votes or so. Why is the race still outstanding? Well, first things first, looking at Maricopa County, the largest county in the state of Arizona, it is narrowed here uh, a lot. Ruben Gallego currently leads Cary Lake here 51 to 47 with about a lead of close to 80,000 votes in Maricopa County for Gallego. Looking at the presidential race in Arizona, Donald Trump is winning statewide by about seven points in Maricopa County. Donald Trump is winning by 5%. So there seems to be a lot of vote splitting here between Donald Trump and Carrie Lake, where Trump is getting 52%, Carrie Lake is only getting 47%. So there's a 5% discrepancy between what Trump is getting and what Carrie Lake is getting. Still, with 90% of the vote in, that does leave 10% of the votes remaining in Maricopa County. And given that Maricopa County is such a large populous county, of over, there's already been close to 2 million votes counted in this county, there is enough votes to make up the margin that Gallego currently leads Lake by in the county, where right now he's up by 80,000 votes. The statewide lead for Gallego over Lake is only about 50,000 votes. So that's why this election really can't be called yet, because there is enough votes that they all broke for Cary Lake to make up that margin and have her win the Senate race. However, is that the likeliest scenario? Not really, because for that to happen, she would need to defy the trend right now, which is Gallego's leading Maricopa County by four points. Lake would need to have a very significant vote dump in Maricopa County, enough to get her probably up to like 50 to 49, uh, where Gallego's leading, or maybe for Lake to even take the lead in Maricopa County for her to really have a realistic shot at flipping this margin and winning the state of Arizona. And with 90% of the vote in, is there enough votes out there for Lake to make up essentially 2-3% to 3 of the vote just in Maricopa County, when so far she's running 5 points behind President Trump. it's If the trend continues of her running 5 points behind, the math would say it's not very likely she could do it, but we're waiting for all the votes to come in because, of course, in elections anything can happen, but it's looking more and more improbable Lake is going to be able to make up the margin in Maricopa County. However, it has narrowed since a few days ago when it was about a six to seven point lead in Maricopa for Gallego. Now it's a four point lead. Maybe the final 10% makes things a little bit closer. But even if the final vote drop is beneficial for Carrie Lake, which again, there's no guarantee it is. I'm saying hypothetically, let's say the next vote drop comes in and Carrie Lake wins it, say 50 to 47 in favor of her. Well, depending on how many votes that is, that may bring Maricopa County down as a whole to like 50 to 48 for Gallego, Gallego would still have enough of a lead here where it'd probably be about maybe down to like a 50,000, 40,000 vote lead just in Maricopa County. He's still leading statewide by about 50,000 votes. And there is still 19% of the vote left in Pima County, which I believe is the second largest county in the state, which is expected to have more Democratic votes than Republican votes for Ruben Gallego. Mojave County, one of the larger Republican counties in the state, is now in for Lake, so she won't be getting much more votes out of there. La Paz County is pretty much all in, just 9% left, but it's a smaller county. Yuma County, there are 42% of the votes left in Yuma County, but again, it's not as large as Maricopa or Pima County is. So just the math from these two counties alone suggests there's likely more Democratic votes out there for Gallego than Republican votes for Lake. Now, if things were to reverse in Maricopa County and Lake were to get a very significant voter drop that could boost her Republican totals and defy the current numbers that they have right now, that would be a good sign for her. And then it could be possible. But the math right now is just not really on Lake's side because Maricopa County is at best a very competitive battleground county that 
even if Lake gets most of the votes that are out for her in Maricopa County, it's still more likely than not Gallego is going to win this county. Whereas Pima County, we fully expect will probably go for Gallego. And even if the margins go down, do they go down enough to give Lake a chance? So Lake is not out of this race entirely yet, but it's looking more and more likely Gallego is going to hold on after the final vote drop in Maricopa County and likely win the state, just given there's more Democratic votes likely out in Maricopa County and Pima County combined. There are Republican votes out in Maricopa County that will benefit Carrie Lake's numbers, but is the Democratic votes in Maricopa County plus the Democratic votes in Pima County, do those outnumber the Republican vote gain that Carrie Lake will get in Maricopa? And that's where the problem is for Lake. In my own personal opinion, I think the amount of Democratic votes left in Pima County and the Democratic votes left in Maricopa County probably just narrowly edge out the Republican votes Lake is going to get. Because right now at 90% in, Lake is getting about 867,000 votes. I don't think it's impossible when 90% or 100% of the votes are in that Carrie Lake could break 900,000 votes or so in Maricopa County. The question is, how many more votes does Gallego get in Maricopa? And in Pima County, does Ruben Gallego get an extra 10, 20,000 votes or so in Pima County? That also hurts Lake's margin in Maricopa, where she may gain some votes there, but those, those votes may be essentially taken away when you look at the votes coming in from, from uh, Pima County. And then other counties, Santa Cruz is all in, Cochise is all in, Graham County is all in, Greenlee County is all in, Pinal is all in, Gila is all in, Navajo is all in, Cococino is all in, and Apache's got 14% remaining, but it's a smaller county. All the votes right now, and Yavapai still has 20% left, but again, it's got a decent amount of people living in it, so Cary Lake will get a few more votes in Yavapai County, maybe a few more thousands of votes, but it's not as much as the votes left in Maricopa County and in Pima County. So this is the problem for Carrie Lake right now. She has a very small chance at winning this race, and it all depends on a very substantial vote drop in Maricopa County, that final 10% heavily breaking for her. For Lake to win Arizona right now to make up that 50,000 vote deficit, she needs a vote drop in Maricopa County that's probably like 55% to 45% over Gallego in favor of her. And right now at this stage in the game when Gallego is winning Maricopa County as a whole, I'm not totally confident that's going to happen. Again, I could be wrong. Once all the votes comes in, we're going to get a clear answer for sure. But it's looking like right now Gallego is more likely to hold on in Arizona just due to the fact Maricopa County is currently going for Gallego by four points. And even after the final vote drop, would it be enough for Lake to make up the numbers and win the race? I personally don't think so. I think it's more likely the vote drop is beneficial for Lake and she loses the race under 1% but I'm not sure there's enough votes in Maricopa for Lake to make up the margin and take it away from Gallego. That being said, and if I was the New York Times, I would not be making a call yet either because there's still 12% of the statewide vote remaining, including 10% in the largest county in the state. So I would certainly wait for all these votes to come in but from before making a call. It is possible for Carrie Lake to win, but I think it's more likely than not Gallego will probably hold on and technically keep this seat blue, even though Kirsten Sinema is the independent, but she was a Democrat. Whether you want to call it a flip or keep, whatever you want to call it, it's more likely than not Gallego wins this race. But again, we're going to count the votes in Maricopa County before we see what happens here. So that's a quick update what's going on with the Arizona Senate race. As I mentioned, the presidential race, Arizona, has officially been called for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is way outperforming Cary Lake, especially in Maricopa County, where Trump is winning there by five. So that one's all called. Now we're just waiting for the final votes in the Senate race in Arizona. And also I'll have a video coming out in a few hours as well, talking about the Pennsylvania Senate race, which many news organizations have called for Dave McCormick, and I'm very confident Dave McCormick is going to win it. However, that's 49 to 48.4. Democratic incumbent Senator Bob Casey has not yet conceded yet, so I'll have a video coming out on that very soon. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, click subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I hope to see you in a future video. That will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a like. And if you really liked it, please remember to click the subscribe button and make sure you turn post notifications on so you always get notified when I post a new video. That way you never miss one. Also, please remember to share this video with your friends and family if you really, really, really like the video. And remember to stay tuned because I'll be posting at least one video every single day leading up until election day so i'd really appreciate it if you keep coming back and watching those videos 
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.